Meow. And welcome to my channel. I'm Destiny, and if this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos, I'm a sweet Lolita, and I love everything cute and adorable. As an indie designer, one of the most common questions I get when I show off pictures of my dresses to regular people is, where do you wear those? Well, my favorite response is, wherever I feel like it. I usually tell them that I wear my pieces most frequently at anime conventions. I always explain to them that since it is a Japanese street fashion, it tends to fit in very well with the culture and the conventions that I've been to. Many anime conventions even have Lolita fashion events. The first anime convention that I went to was Colossal Con in 2017. I just moved to Ohio and found out there was a convention within driving distance. I was super excited since I'd always wanted to go to one, and while perusing their site, I found that they had a Lolita tea party and a Lolita fashion show. I was super excited and got tickets to both the convention and the tea party as quickly as I could. At every convention I go to, I typically wear my own pieces. I actually only have one piece in my closet right now that's not handmade. Overall, I've had a bunch of wonderful experiences. As a Lolita attendee, which is all I'll be talking about for now, I've noticed that a lot of people approach me and ask if they can take pictures. I've also noticed a considerable amount of people will specifically say, I like your coordinate, which while being something really small is actually super refreshing because it shows that they know something about the fashion. You of course will still get a lot of questions, usually from parents or people outside the convention that will say, so who are you? Or who are you cosplaying? And people that will say, oh that's a cool costume. But the way that I see it, those are the same questions that I get when I wear a Lolita coordinate out to a random event, like last year when I went to see Shen Yun when they were in Cleveland. Just having people actually recognize the style and acknowledge it is a really cool feeling. Another thing that I personally really like about anime conventions is that there's usually photographers everywhere. If you're lucky, you can get a great haul shot of your coordinate. If you plan ahead of time and reach out to some photographers, you can usually even get a photo shoot at these conventions. Another thing that I love to do is scope out places that I think would be good for pictures with specific coordinates. For example, last year while I was at work, a customer told me about the Hello Kitty food truck that was around an hour away. When I got off work, I went home, immediately changed into my pink butterfly dress, and drove to get pictures next to it. Another example of this is that I saw a small bamboo field in a location I was at this week, and my first thought was, when I get my panda dress that I pre-ordered, I need to come back here and get pictures. My favorite thing about wearing Lolita in normie places is the little kids that think that I'm a princess. I just think it's the sweetest thing. Without fail, every time I leave my apartment wearing Lolita, a child will yell to their parents, look, it's a princess. I'm not sure if the look of joy on their face is my favorite, or the usual look of confusion that comes from their parents afterwards. That being said, I think that Lolita is an incredible fashion, and I wish I could wear it every day in every location. I'm always looking for Lolita meetups, and I follow my local comms to try and find meets that I can go to and hang out with more people that love this wonderful style. Thanks for watching my video! Where do you like to wear Lolita? Comment down below and let me know!